Hey guys, it's King Richard 13. Welcome back to another video. And today we're going to go over my most frequently asked questions about this F450. If you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe and leave me a comment and let me know what you think about this dually and what you think I should do or change or uh, your input on it. But anyhow, this is a 2024 Ford F450 King Ranch. Uh, been waiting on this truck for three. I ordered two of them in 2021 and I never got any of my 22s. And so I waited for 22s come around, didn't come around, and then I waited for 23s come around, didn't come around. And then finally I had this one show up. A dealer buddy of mine up near Detroit uh, called me and was like, hey, I got this truck. And this is the second time he's asked me uh, if I wanted to buy this truck. And the first time I was like, you know, let me call you back after my meeting. And he was like, all right, well, it might not be here. You just need to put a deposit. And I called him like 30 minutes later, maybe not even 30 minutes later, and it was gone. And so the second time when he called me, I still hadn't found one, so – I uh, took it right as soon as he called me and told me about it. So anyhow, it's a F450, like I said. I mean, in my opinion, this is my favorite truck that I've got. I think it looks good, and it's the most versatile truck for me. You know, I could drive it anywhere and then still be able to pull a house if I wanted to. But one of the most asked questions is, man, what is the size of the tires and what lift and what suspension you know, how's it ride? Those are, those are some of the main questions I got. So I want to break it down to you in this video. Um, these are Toyo M608Z 28570R19.5. And yeah, sure, I could swap these out and put semi wheels and put 22.5s or 22s or even 20s and with adapters. But I just like the look of a 19.5. I'm a, I kind of like the factory pawpaw look. So anyhow, these tires do not rub at all whatsoever and the thing i love about the 450 and if you drive a 450 or 550 you know this is that freaking turning radius you can turn on my, on a dime like you could turn the wheel just about sideways and anyways this truck i'm able to turn it 100 percent both ways no rub at all whatsoever um the front is not leveled or anything like that this is bone stock so how you see it is just from the factory except for the literally the, just the tires in the back here, the tires are kind of a little bit closer together, but I really don't have an issue with, with that. I mean, these these tires are aired up. I forget how many PSI it is, but even under a full low with a 40-foot gooseneck and everything like that, I mean, they, they still had some space. And, and I feel like if they do, if they were to, if the tires were to flex and, and uh, push out a little bit under under load going over a swale or something like that in the highway i feel like it, even if it touches for a second i mean it, i don't think it's significant enough but i know some some of y'all safety guys might be like oh that's awful and and why would you ever do that but i don't know i mean i'm not pulling a trailer probably i'm maybe pulling a trailer maybe five percent of the time that i've drive this so not really big enough concern for me uh another main question i've got is the toolbox and fuel tank setup so this is not the same setup I've got in my short uh, crew cab short bed trucks, like my 250 or my 350. Um, this one is a 100-gallon tank, and then I've always got my cam locker toolboxes with the rail. Um, this is with the matte black finish. So I like this setup because not only am I able to have my fuel tank, but also be able to use a toolbox um, and have something I can always put on top of my toolbox. Sometimes if I've got stuff down in my box here that's, you know, or if I got something that's too big, I can put it right on top of here. If I want to throw a strap over it, I can throw a strap over it. If not, I mean, gravity usually works pretty good too. Around the back here, um, I've got a Gen Y hitch. Uh, and now this is the Gen Y torsion hitch. Um, this truck, the four, now I think I might be wrong on this, but on 2024s, maybe even 2023s, the only trucks that have a three inch hitch now is the 450 um maybe the 350 with the high capacity tow package i don't even i'm not 100 percent sure because i don't have a 350 dual with the high tow capacity or high whatever that is, whatever it is i don't even think that has a three inch i think it's a two and a half so yeah this is a three inch it's a big boy i mean this thing weighs probably almost 100 and probably 100 and something about 150 pounds maybe something like that but uh man i love it. it it takes a lot of the jarring out and i'm able to use it for pinhole applications as well um it's beefy um it's a, it's a nice bumper savers as well so hopefully my insurance cuts me a check because i run with these so overall as you can see it's a 
it's a good work rig. So it's kind of my dedicated work truck. And in my opinion, I think it rides pretty good. I mean, yeah, yeah, sure. You know, compared to 250 or even a 350 single wheel, yeah, sure, it's rough. But, I mean, compared to any other year 450, I feel like the 450s are starting to get nicer and nicer in rides. Um, but, yeah, you could definitely tell it's a 450, but at the same time, like, under decent roads and decent highways and stuff like that, I mean, it's got a great ride and drives nice and smooth. And, of course, the interior looks like all the other uh, King Ranches and stuff like that. So, interior is always nice. But, overall, yeah, this is the truck. This is kind of my most frequently asked questions. Um, but if I didn't cover something that you're curious about, post it down in the comments below. And I'll see about seeing if I can help answer that. But, uh, hopefully, you all enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up. And, again, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.